Rhodiola rosea is a nootropic that will blow your mind. Here is why. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. If those topics interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Oh, and don't forget to press that little bell button below as well. Today, we're gonna talk about rhodiola rosea. Specifically, I'll tell you how supplementing rhodiola changed my life. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show it to you my top hacks that you should know before you start supplementing this amazing nootropic. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now, Rhodiola rosea is an adaptogen herb known to reduce anxiety and stress level in individuals. It has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for ages, which kind of indicates that this is a very safe nootropic for supplementing. Today, you can find it in many popular supplements and nootropic stacks. Actually, as a matter of fact, most of my top-rated nootropic stacks contain rhodiola rosea. Now, I especially like it because of its many benefits. It can reduce anxiety, it can reduce fatigue and burnout from stress, which means it's great for highly active people, for managers, for CEOs, for entrepreneurs, and so on. It can improve your mood, it can also improve your cognition. Based on the studies, it can improve cognition because of the reduced fatigue, it's effective for treating depression, it is neuroprotective, and also it increases serotonin levels. And serotonin is the feel-good neurotransmitter. Now, to learn more about other benefits, about the side effects and so on, check out my video up here. Now, let's go to my experience. So, I first tried Rhodiola Rosea as a part of a more complex nootropic supplement uh, that contained multiple ingredients and nootropics. And that was back in 2015. So it was kind of hard for me to say um, how big of an impact Rhodiola had on my performance, on my mood, my well-being, and so on. So I later decided to try Rhodiola Rosé as an individual compound, just to see how well it actually works. Now the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 50 to 200 milligrams, but you can take up to 680 milligrams, at least based on the studies. Now the higher dosages are appropriate for more acute stress, um, so whenever you have a stressful situation, you can take a higher dosage. But in general, I would suggest that you stick to lower dosage. And that's what I did. So I tried taking 50 milligrams, I tried 100 milligrams, and I even tried 200 milligrams. Basically, it's kind of a hard to see the difference. Yeah, it is true, if you take 50 milligrams, most people probably won't feel any benefits in the short term. Now, does that mean that 50 milligrams is too low? No, it's well enough, it's high enough dosage, um, especially for long-term use, but it does take some time to feel the benefits. However, when I took 200 milligrams of rhodiola, I was able to feel the effects immediately. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, what did I experience when I try rhodiola? So first of all, I felt calmer. Um, I could definitely feel less anxious and less stressed, especially when I took it during a high stress period, uh, when I had lots of emails to reply to, or lots of phone calls, when I had to make some really important decisions, I took a higher dosage of rhodiola and I felt less anxious. And it was a noticeable feeling, there is no doubt about that. Now, I was also slightly more focused and I was definitely in a better mood. So, working was easier, uh, was less stressful and more fun. Now, I also tried combining Rhodiola Rosea with other nootropics. I tried with Bacopa Muneri. By the way, you can learn more about Bacopa up here. Um, and then I tried it with Ashwagandha. Again, learn more about Ashwagandha up here. But I also figured it out that it works well with Panax Ginseng, um, also with L-theanine and similar nootropics. So if you want to combine Rhodiola, and that's exactly what I'll recommend, um, you can find many nootropics um, that rhodiola works well with. Now, who exactly should supplement rhodiola? Well, in my opinion, all very active people should do that. Um, if you work in a stressful environment, um, if you want to feel better, if you want to be more productive, more focused, um, and so on, um, then rhodiola reset is a really good nootropic for you. And if you're a CEO, a manager, then in this case, it's a must-use nootropic. Now, how can you get the best out of rhodiola? First of all, personally, I would recommend combining it with other nootropics. I mentioned a few before, and my top-rated nootropic stacks that you can find below uh, usually contain many other compounds. 
and I recommend it because rhodiola is really effective on its own, but it's also very affordable. So when you add a couple of more compounds, you can get even stronger effect and the price difference is very small. So I really highly recommend doing that. Then I suggest that you try it out in the morning. So you take it in the morning and see how it works on you. If it works well, then keep on taking it in the morning. If it doesn't, if it makes you too relaxed, then I recommend trying it out or taking it after lunch or in the afternoon. Now, another hack is that if you combine with Bacopa Monieri, now many popular stacks combine Rhodiola with Bacopa uh, because Rhodiola decreases your stress and Bacopa improves your memory, so it's a great combo. Then I would definitely recommend supplementing it in the afternoon because Bacopa Monieri can reduce your motivation and this kind of uh, offsets some of the positive benefits of Rhodiola. So take it in the afternoon if you stack it up with Bacopa. And last but not least, make sure that it contains at least 3% of rosavins and 1% of salidrocytes. So those are the active compounds of rhodiola and look at this ratio because this means you're taking a rhodiola reset that is powerful and potent enough. So where exactly can you buy rhodiola reset? Well, below in the description you can find my top rated supplements that contain rhodiola, so just check them out. So, are there any other supplements that you should take for optimal brain performance? Well, yes, there are many, and you can check my video up here to learn all about them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget subscribing below, and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.